Hello, my name is John Michael O'Brien, and I'm an inside application engineer for Keysight Technologies. What I'm going to show you today is how to use the I2C decoders that are now included as part of the Agilent Logic and Protocol Analyzer software, uh, the 5.80 and newer software, uh, in order to do I2C decoding. Uh, this is actually done on the newer systems by going to Open, and then you'll see this uh, shortcut to demo configs that comes as part of the default folder. We then go in here go to Agilent and you'll notice the slow serial default configs. We select that, go to I squared C, and then open up the I squared C default config. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want to save my module, and now we're good. It's also going to be expecting me to use a 16, 9, 10, or 9, 11 series module by default. Uh, I'm actually running on a 1680 logic analyzer, so you'll notice this actually is still viable even on some of the older equipment. And then what we do is we come in here, we let it finish loading, and then we'll need to start off by making sure we have the right connections. So we come in here, and you'll notice that it's got I squared C signals, uh, SDA, and SCL on pod 10 and pod 11. Uh, you'll need you can either remap these to a different pod if you need to have them somewhere else, or you can move your signals as I've done to match up with the pod. Once that's done, we've literally done everything that's required to make this acquisition, so we can just simply do a run. I've got a, a quick demonstration done. It's connected to a GPIO port expander uh, connected via I squared C. So it's going to capture a trace, analyze it, and then give us back the results. At this point now, uh, we can go to the listing, and you'll notice that I have the individual data, keeping in mind that the address is considered to be part of the data. Uh, it can tell us where the I squared C start, uh, the I squared C stop, you know, and which operating mode we're currently running in, and how many clocks it took to get there. So at this point now, you can see I, I'm actually accessing a device, uh, and you can see the actual transactions occurring here. Um, in terms of other columns, there's just simply when that event occurred uh, relative to the absolute time. So from here, then, you can do further analysis on your system, determine exactly what commands were being sent, and how you want to go about that. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully you found this informative.